So I'm talking to somebody on threads, right? And the first thing they come out and say is Caitlin Clark is our Jackie Robinson. And I'm like, damn, that's, that's where we at on the timeline now. You know, first hard defense was racism. I've seen people say like, oh, Caitlin Clark is like the only straight woman in the WNBA and that it's a lot of black people who don't like her. To me, it just looked like some veterans trying to like make a rookie feel bad. And honestly, you know what I think it is? I think it's because Caitlin Clark, you got Cameron Brink, you got Angel Reese, you got these new NBA rookies and they baddies though. You know, so like maybe the vets looking at him like, damn, we weren't no baddies. We don't got no GQ because, you know, the Instagram filled with the GQ WNBA, but they only put the baddies on there, you know, and not saying all of them aren't bad, but that's what that's what they do. And so you got to sense there's some type of jealousy right here, right? Like you sitting next to like you or stand next to Cameron Brink, who like supermodel and then you you just there and like. You're going you to have some hate in you, you know what I mean? Or Angel Reese, all of them, they just doing what they're doing and they looking good while doing it. Where I think that's bringing so much eyes to the WNBA. And of course, everyone's playing ball, right? So because Caitlin Clark is struggling out the gate, that gives that a beautiful storyline. Angel Reese feels like she's going into this like villain role. Even though it's not villain, it's just playing with competition. Sometimes I want to see Caitlin Clark get in it and get in their face too, you know what I mean? Like you don't gotta always fight or nothing, you know what I mean? But poke them in the eye when the ref's not looking. But this is what we've all wanted. WNBA is on one right now. Everybody's tuned in. I think all the guys are tuned in for the baddies, but watching the games is, is is tough yo like i think caitlin clark remember that discussion where was caitlin clark is it tougher in the wnba or the big three and everyone said the big three is like brute basketball i don't know watching this wnba games like they out here playing like football and then you got pat mcafee saying caitlin clark that white bitch over there in you know like he out here saying that so like you could see caitlin clark almost being claimed by all, all these like you know i'm guessing the white community um some people and some people probably don't even support women's rights and what they want for women but because caitlin clark is like someone they're living vicariously through now all of a sudden they care about women's rights so maybe that is it maybe caitlin clark is a catalyst for all these racists out here to then change their point of view and then support women's rights all right i'll talk to y'all later